Good afternoon, it's Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today is Monday, October 13th, 2008, and the market had a huge update today. Uh, obviously, the shorts were the ones that uh, were the, did the suffering in here today. Uh, as George Soros says, volume and volatility peak at turning points and diminish with trends. And we had the largest volume of the year and clearly, I think, one of the most volatile sessions that we've seen, uh, I think, in my lifetime uh, last Friday with all those 700-point moves up up and down on the Dow, uh, where we were down 700, up seven, you know, up to even, back down 700, and then basically regained it all once again. Um, this morning uh, or last week, I said that it, you know, history suggested that the market would gap higher on Monday, and it obviously did gap higher. I don't know what that print there was at 94. The market's up at uh, $100.45 though, um, but. The uh, you know the official uh, close I guess you know a lot of times it's different from what I show on the blog because they seem to to put some late trades through or something like that but the market was up uh, twelve dollars today uh, it was up you know thirteen dollars and fifty six cents this morning I had uh, drawn a little sketch in about you know what a typical day or what I thought uh, you know today might look like and what I was looking at was first of all a gap higher a rally up that, that then fails to hold you know make a lower low in here then a rally an afternoon pullback and then a uh, much uh, better you know stronger close and if you look at the one minute time frame, this is almost exactly what we had. We had a huge gap up. We can see that obviously on the two minute uh, time frame here. We see that gap higher. Now we'll go back down to the one minute time frame. It traded below that daily VWAP. I said right here, it looks like maybe that was the shakeout. It then rallied up, kind of consolidated and churned in here, pulled back uh, just above the daily VWAP. And then we had that afternoon rally that was uh, obviously so impressive. And I, I di didn't expect it to, you know, basically do exactly what that sketch was, but I'm glad I put it up there, I guess. So uh, I'll try not to hurt my shoulder, pat myself on the back. Um, ho hopefully you made some money from that today, but we have to continue to focus on what's next for this market. We obviously are still in a down market. We're in a bear market. And, uh, you know, as I've been pointing out the last few days with those historical charts on the blog, you know, we see a lot of very big rallies in bear markets. And it seems as though, you know, that's the, you know, that's the bottom and, and that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, we'll only know the actual bottom well after the fact. For now, though, the very short term trend remains higher. Um, it's it's super extended in here. Hopefully, uh, you know, well, I, I, I look liquidated all my long holdings today because it just it just seems like it's gone too far too fast the market got back above the five-day moving average that's this level right here and this prior level of support that we had seen and that was basically what I was saying was that was gonna be our first target near near that uh, uh, prior support in the five-day moving average it consolidated underneath there that's when we had that uh, little shakeout right in here and then the uh, the market rocketed above that five-day moving average and now it's you know up towards this level right up here and um you know, from failed moves right in here, from this failed move lower, come fast moves higher. If we take a look at just the uh, most recent uh, leg lower, that is starting from October 3rd to the to the lows, we've retraced a little bit more than 50% of those. Maybe we can continue up towards 103.5, maybe up even towards 105. But again, we're in a bear market, and these rallies typically do fail. So uh, as good as today was, don't be too quick to call it the bottom. Uh, you know, just continue to manage risk obviously the Russell 2000 was up four dollars and 53 cents or 8.6 percent and uh, the, you know this market uh, obviously was you know one of the stronger uh, on Friday it, it actually closed higher while the S&P 500 closed lower on Friday uh, we're seeing continued bounce up in here um, you know looking at the daily time frame maybe we get a move back up towards that $63 level but now that $63 level where we had seen the breakdown from right in here uh, 63 64 uh, this is going to be the next big level, similar to uh, what we had seen develop uh, late to or you know throughout.
throughout 2007 as support and then act as resistance this year. It's a big level and you know over maybe the next couple months we rally up towards there before it distributes again but uh, you know it, let, let's just take it uh, short term uh, you know basis here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see on all these markets uh, some kind of pullback to the five day moving average. Let that five day moving average flatten out and begin to turn higher a little bit and, and perhaps the uh, the pressure will remain on the uh, on the bears for a few days in here gold did continue lower today so maybe we're seeing a, a, a return out of that uh, flight of uh, flight to quality as they call it in the gold market we do still have that declining 50-day moving average it looked like it was uh, you know heavily defended uh, a week and a half ago as we saw that rally but Friday obviously it failed today we're lower in here again so no clear signs on gold uh, it's uh, you know basically searching for some support in here but uh, it, it's you know these prior lows that did act as resistance uh, we're back below there so a lot of volatility in gold and uh, you know, tough, tough to trade, I guess. The financials uh, were, were up, I guess, 10%, I think, on Friday. Uh, today, we saw another 6.5% uh, follow through to the upside. We saw the, the big gap higher this morning. It came right up to that declining five-day moving average. The market pulled back, rallied up to that five-day moving average again, made a higher low, and then pushed above it late in the day. When we look at the one-minute time frame, you can see it took longer for this market to recapture that daily VWAP. Right in here, it made Made a, a slightly higher high that was a good place to enter if you were getting involved it made the lower low right in here uh, and then that shakeout and then the uh, the push higher into the afternoon financials obviously remain in in a world of hurt um, we're, we're getting up towards this prior uh, important level of support near that $17 level so just be careful uh, manage risk raise your stops up and let the you know let the message of the market tell you what to do if we can get back above there and hold above there perhaps Perhaps we head back into the range up near that 50-day moving average near $20 a share. That's too far away to really call anything realistic yet. But maybe we get a pullback to that 5-day moving average. The 5-day moving average starts to advance, and then we can uh, rebuild a little bit in here. The uh, NASDAQ 100, uh, this was the market I was looking at all day. And uh, again, you know, we, we, we got the gap higher. Obviously, we're, we're right up to these levels in here and that declining 10-day moving average. When we look at a 10-minute time, Time frame, uh, you know, we had seen obviously that the market gapped right up to that five-day moving average. I had suggested that if you were long, you take some profits off in there, and then perhaps set your stop below the low of the morning, uh, which was down near about. Uh, it, it, it hit the it hit the level that I had suggested, uh, but then when it regained that VWAP, that was the time to get it back involved with a stop below here. It remained strong right up till here. It uh, in fact I was pointing out these higher lows in here, and then it made that lower uh, lower low right here. I thought it was maybe heading back down towards the VWAP, and that would possibly be the shakeout that I was looking for. Um, and it ended up being the shakeout and closing right up near the highs. Again, the market. Spended a lot of energy today. I think a lot of shorts really uh, panicked in here, and uh, you know this is the hallmark of a bear uh, bear market is that we see some of the largest, most volatile moves during the course of a bear market. In particular, some of the largest rallies occur during bear markets. But if this bear market remains intact, which there's no reason to think it isn't on these longer term time frames, then this rally will eventually fail. I'm not going to say where I think it will fail because. Anyone who says, you know, how far do you think it can go? And I get a lot of emails saying that. How far do you think it can go? And my answer is always, let's just listen to the message of the market. Whatever your time frame is that you decide to engage the market on, you have to determine, do you come up with your higher lows to set your stops under on a 10-minute time frame? Do you do it on a one-minute time frame and then re-enter? That's up to you to decide. Uh, but uh, we're seeing some signs of improvements lower volume we're still in a bear market so nothing to get too excited about just continue to trade it in a very disciplined way and manage risk